Okay, so let's go to the Gospel of John. Hi, my love. Let's go to the Gospel of John, chapter 2, and verse 19. You understand? Let's go to uh, verse 19. And there we read this. Now, we're going to look at the Greek. It says over here, Jesus, Jesus answered them, meaning the scribes and the Pharisees or whoever was out there, destroy. Now, that's an imperative in Greek. That's the mood of command. He's commanding them to destroy his temple. Not, not, then and, and not then and there, but he's commanding them to. Destroy this temple, and in three days, Greek word for, uh, for temple is not on, and in three days, Trisis, in three days, Hemeras, I will raise up. Okay, let's get that first. That's uh, Egero. That's a liquid future. That's a future tense. But you don't see the future tense formative epsilon and sigma there because they were dropped off. Okay? So that's, that's why you don't see it. That's a liquid future. Liquids in Greek are, are you know, the, the R sounding letter, the M sounding letter, the N sounding letter, and the L, like in Larry, sounding letter. Okay? Those are the liquids. And the epsilon and liquid, the vowel and the and the, or the epsilon and the sigma, which means to synchronize, by the way, that get dropped off after the liquid stem, pro. Okay. If the stem ends in a liquid, the epsilon and sigma drops off. If it doesn't end in a liquid, the sigma remains, and you see the 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 uh, the sigma, or at least you hear the sigma in a PC or a, a Kasi uh, type, a compound letter, okay? I will raise up, but it says over here, I will raise it up. Now I will raise up another one. The it's here, Greek word, alton, a third person personal pronoun for the altos paradigm, okay? It's an accusative case. And that's the case of limitation. <coughs> and that's the case, <coughs> and that's the case of limitation. As to extent, the extent of the raising, <coughs> I'm trying to placate my special child. Instead of crying, maybe she'll be laughing, you know, if I keep on doing that. <laughs> the extent or the limitation of the resurrection, the future, future resurrection, and I put it in the future because Jesus was speaking in the future, <coughs> was to be done only, okay, in that particular body that he inhabited, that he tabernacled with. Okay? <coughs> You understand what I'm saying? Because it's, it's in the accuser of the case, Altan. It's not in the nominative, it's not in the genitive, it's not in the dative, it's in the accusative case, the case of limitation as to extent. The case of the genitive is the case of limitation as to kind. What kind of a kingdom, says Julius Armenti, in other words? What kind of a heart? Is an unbelieving heart? Is an everlasting kingdom? It's God's kingdom. What kind of a kingdom is a righteous kingdom? You understand what I'm saying? What kind of a heart was well, the heart of, of unbelief? That's a, just the genesis of the description right there, I believe. You understand what I'm saying? So this is in the case of the case, the case of limitation. Yes, that acts to ex, as to extent. In other words, if you see Acts, <coughs> if you see Acts chapter nine verse uh, seven. And you compare that with Acts chapter 22, verse 9, and the King James is, is a wrong translation. It says, <coughs> it says, um, they, didn't, uh, they didn't hear the voice. That's a wrong translation. They don't understand, or they didn't translate the accuser's the case, the case of limitation. Now, not that they didn't hear the voice, because you'll be contradicting what was written before. <coughs> What was written before was that they heard the voice in verse 7 of chapter 9 of the same uh, 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 Acts of the Apostles, Praxis Apostolon. Praxis is Acts, Apostolon is of Apostles, of the Apostles, if you will. <coughs> you understand what I'm saying? So it says that they heard the voice in, in verse 7 of chapter 9, and in the King James, they didn't hear the voice. Well, that's a glaring contradiction that the atheists use. They like to use that. To attack our scriptures, you understand what I'm saying? But if you understand phonane is in the accusative is in the accusative case, the NIV and NASV and other translation gets it right. They didn't understand the voice. Not that they didn't hear it, they heard it. They just didn't understand it. You understand what I'm saying? They didn't understand the voice. The extent of the hearing, okay, 
Uh, the, the extent of, of the understanding was uh, was 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 uh, for Paul's ears only, not the people that were uh, surrounding. Okay, a uh, Saul, I should say. You understand what I'm saying? <coughs> you understand what I'm saying? So the extent of the raising up is only for the body that Jesus had, and not another body. Destroy this temple, okay? Greek word not on, like I said before, and in three days I will raise it up again. The antecedent of the third person personal pronoun is not on. That's the antecedent. There's a one to one correspondence between the it and the temple. And as a matter of fact, there's a genitive for opposition in verse 21. Let's read it over there. It's quite clear. Remember, uh, John the Apostle. Is an is a teacher, bar excellence. You understand what I'm saying? It says over here, but he was speaking, and this is John speaking. He was speaking of the temple of his body, and that's the genitive of opposition of his body. Probably somatikas. You understand what I'm saying? The temple of his body. Of his body. Of the body that he had. Of the body that he was in. Not, a, not the temple of another body or a body that the Father was going to give him or whatever the case may be. So when Jesus said, you understand what I'm saying? Cheras mu, padas mu. Well, he's talking about the body that he had before the resurrection. It's the same body that they're seeing and touching and actually hearing. <coughs> you understand what I'm saying? <coughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's just like fighting back an avalanche with this with this girl right here, you know, the special child. It's like it's like you're, you're trying to you're trying to um, fix the dam. If it's not, the water's just gonna burst through. So my chuckles, <coughs> or by coughing, <coughs> it's just really stopping the dam from breaking. But you can see that the water is gonna be breaking through. <laughs> That's not gonna work. You, know, you can cough all you want, but you know, Anna Devine is is highly intelligent. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> is that what I'm saying? There's only so many <laughs> you can do. You understand what I'm saying? <laughs> right, honey, my love? <laughs> is that what I'm saying? So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do this when she's not here. I'm going to see if I can put her to a grandmother's house. And I can't do it now because my wife is not there. She's she's uh, she's uh, on an errand. And uh, my mother-in-law's, uh, looks like her knee is bad. And then my father-in-law is taking care of my son, Sean Donnelly, that just, just, just left. So I'm going to come back, and hopefully the, 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 the room is a lot more quieter without, without Anna. <coughs> and is that what I'm saying? I mean, there's so many <coughs> you can do, guys. Just like, I'll tell you a story while she's crying anyway. And I, I try to give her milk. I, I already just cleaned her twice in, in, about an, in about an hour. And I gave her milk, but she doesn't, she doesn't want so and she's clean, her back is clean, it's dry, everything like that, you know. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I remember Ferro Griswold was speaking about <coughs> was, be, was speaking about <laughs> was speaking about a woman that used to bother him. He used to call him all the time. He used to call him, you know, not not like sensually, but just used to call him and, and nag him. Okay? And she used to she used to have this just terrible voice. Like she was smoking these cigarettes or something like that. He was saying, you know what I'm saying? And then every time she called, he he put, picked the phone up. <coughs> he picked the phone up, and he just not listened to her for a while. He used to type or whatever he was doing, <coughs> and gave her a couple of uh huhs, and then picked. <laughs> he was listening to her and <coughs> and picked up the phone again. You know, like every five minutes and said uh huh. And there's so many uh uh-huhs you can do. And then she caught on and never never called him again. And and he said he was ever, uh, you know, eternally blessed ever since. (laughs) Is that what I'm saying? But in the case of our, of our, uh, of our dear, uh, of our dear uh, sister in the Lord, you know, Anna Devane, my daughter, uh, we're just going to stop right here. And I'll get back into this very important scripture. And it needs to be peace and quiet in the atmosphere. You understand what I'm saying? To really settle the deal. Okay, so I'll, I'll be right back, guys. Hi everybody, this is Angelo Quinones and you reach Shine Ministries. Shine Ministries is designed 
to give you dependable and accurate answers that come straight from God's holy and inspired word, the Bible. Uh, it's just a deal. And my name again is Angelo Kiki Ruchi Quinones. Kiki is a nickname, and Ruchi is my mother's maiden name, and, and Quinones is my my father's uh, was my father's last name. Um, my father and mother uh, passed away in 1983 and, and 2012, respectively. Okay, my mother died in, in 2012. She went to be with the Lord. Now, um, I tried. I, I already prayed for the study. Um, and so I don't need to pray again, but I'll just say right here, uh, Father, uh, in Jesus' name, please uh, bless. And so I prayed for the study several times, and what happened is that my special child, as we look at the, we, we continue to, to um, address, uh, you know, uh, verses of scripture supporting the bodily resurrection of Jesus. So, Matika. Uh, somatica anastasis to Jesus or Jesus, okay. Somatica anastasis to Jesus, the bodily resurrection of Jesus. And just put in there Christ our Lord if you want to, you know, add that addition. Okay, this is very important. This is the great resurrection series. Okay, the full Greek construction of it, and we I can't even tell you the verses that we looked at because looked at because we looked at so many verses of scripture. The last scripture that we were looking at had to do with reconciling the apparent, it's not a contradiction, but it's a, it's a, it seems to be so, is an apparent contradiction of what angels spoke at the tomb, and uh, and so we figured that out, and that was, a, <laughs> that was an incredible study, basically to see which angels spoke, which angels uh, didn't, uh, 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 who appeared, uh, who was there, uh, uh, what you know? How did Jesus? When did Jesus address Mary? When can you you go, you can only place place it in one spot? So I mean that was a tremendous study, and I hope you guys see it. It's called Angels and Glory. That just that, that section of the greater section um, or the greater uh, a whole, meaning the series uh, entitled uh, the bodily resurrection of Jesus. You know, Somatica. Uh, Anastasis uh, to Yesu. Um, that's the main title of the, of the study, you know. But in it, Angels and Glory, uh, you would really like to see because there I, I look at the at the angelic beings that visited, uh, the grave clothes, the shroud, uh, the evidence uh, that was there that Jesus handled those, okay, um, in a way that the disciples knew that he, it was his style because they lived with him for three years. And so that's the last thing that we did in reconciling the, you know, when did Mary come, what Marys went back, what Mary stayed behind. I mean, it was a, a tremendous study, but we finished with that. Now I want to I go and address something else while my daughter is not here. She's a special child, Anna Devane, you know. And so Sean Donnelly, my son, is, is, is not a special child, but... But he could interrupt the study in his own charming way. Okay, so he's he's almost two years old. So you know how those uh, 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 kind you know you, you know those those uh, you know that how that age uh, uh, behaves itself. You know, a, a two year old. You know. So that's just the deal. So let me take advantage of the couple of hours that I have, um, and I have. I'm going to give you two verses of scripture. This one. Okay, and the main one, so I should have got there first, actually, so let me get there first. So this is actually, um, well, actually, you know something, I'll put this one as the main one, because he spoke it before the Anastasis, the Anastasis of, of, of himself, the bodily resurrection, okay, and uh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll put the, I'll put a Luke chapter 24, verse 39, you understand what I'm saying, as uh, as the second uh, one, because it happened after the resurrection. Over here, a ghetto is a liquid future, we're going to look at it, and it came first. So I'll, I'll let it remain in this particular order. Also, uh, in, in, in the last few studies that I did, I gave you 10 pieces of evidence or exhibits A through J in the court of God. Evidence. Pieces of evidence. You understand what I'm saying? That most of these items, okay, would have DNA of Jesus, okay, on it or in it or whatever the case may be. You understand what I'm saying? Now, DNA uh, wasn't uh, uh, discovered until 1989, Almost 2,000 years after. But, uh, and let me just touch this before it locks up. But anyway, it was there. It was just, it was, it was just discovered, you know, uh, later on down the road. 
But DNA was always there. DNA was on uh, the crown of thorns, on the nails, on the cross, uh, on the spear. Uh, of course, you know, on um, on the the slab of rock that he was on, uh, the shroud, and the the the, the, the wrappings had uh, DNA. And the tomb, okay, had DNA, okay, uh, in it. Probably some hair samples and stuff like that. But anyway, those are the exhibits in the court of God that I introduced in my last uh, Bible studies that have to do with angels and glory. Well, let's read this text, okay? I mean, um, that's just the deal. We also, uh, before I read it, we also read, okay, the Synoptic Gospels and saw that the, the, the word for okay, uh, raised at Gerthe in the Aris Passive, and the, the, the Aris Passive morphine is there, you know, it's data in Epsilon, in, or it's just Epsilon in the, uh, in the participial forms, but in uh, the Aris Passive forms, it doesn't have to do with participles, it's actually data and eta, or just eta appears, okay? So, uh, first, uh, uh, first passive Aris of form is theta and eta. Nowadays, it's called theta and eta. When you see that, you're trained to know that that's a uh, uh, Aris passive. Even in participles, that has an, a theta and epsilon and nu and tau. Or you just avoid the nu and tau like the plague. You understand what I'm saying? Don't even pay attention to it, okay? Um, and just uh, pay attention to the uh, theta and epsilon that went before, and just judge it according to that, and not according to what happens. Or what follows after the noon Natal, whatever the case may be, you understand what I'm saying? But let's read this in its entirety, and so that's just a deal. This is from the Gospel of John, Gospel Kata Ioannin, chapter 2, and verse 19. Jesus answered, a case probably Yesu Apocrite, something like that, or, you know, uh, Ha Yesus, and that's uh, the nominative, uh, the subject nominative, he's doing the action of the verb of answering. Them, he answers them. Destroy, and that's an imperative, uh, the mood of command in Greek. We're going to look at it. Destroy this, and that's from the Hutas paradigm, the this. Temple, and that's not on. And, probably Greek word, uh, de okai. In three, and thesis, uh, in three days, Hemera, I will raise it up. Not another one. Not a one that the father was going to give him, or that the father conjured up. I will raise it up. Now, it is last in Greek, okay, at least in some manuscripts. I mean, just look, take a look at something like uh, 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 the Gospel of John. It doesn't say the Gospel of John, but it just says John on it. And it says, um, uh, edited and arranged by Ruben Swanson and forwarded by the great Greek scholar Bruce and Mesca. That, that's the one I'm talking about, Okay. And so that's just the deal. So you're going to see, a var you know, variant readings on one page in Greek. All in Greek. Okay, all in Greek. Okay? So you have to know Greek how to read, you know, to, to, in order to read the thing. So that's just the deal. Now, um, <clears throat> so you're going to see variant readings and stuff like that, which is very, very uh, useful. Now, that's just the deal. Now, um, so let's stay with the context. Let's read it again. It says, uh, Jesus answered them and said, or Jesus answered uh, them, destroy this, not another one. Okay? Destroy this temple, this temple, Naan. He was referring to the temple of his body. So John in verse 21, we're going to look at that. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The Greek P, by the way, <laughs> and sometimes the Hebrew P when it's hard, all the time when, when it's hard, incidentally. Is that what I'm saying? Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. The it is very important in this text, it's a one to one correspondence between the it, okay, that was raised and the temple that was destroyed. That would be, anyway, this is in the future tongues. Okay, a ghetto, before we get to it, a ghetto is here, and that's, you know, I raise, but a ghetto, in that construction, is in the future tense, the epsilon and sigma will drop off, okay, it drops off after the liquid. That's why it's called the liquid future, because it has a stem ending in the liquid. When that happens, when it ends in hro, mu, nu, or lambda, or, uh, you know, uh, R, M, like in Mary, N, like in Nancy, uh, L, like in Larry, sounding letter, when the stem, the or, you know, I hate to say root, the stem of the root, you understand, 
when the stem of the root ends in those in, in those consonants, you are trained to understand that that's a liquid future, and um, the epsilon and sigma dropped off. Sigma means to synchronize, by the way. That's the meaning of sigma. The epsilon vowel, okay, and uh, and the sigma dropped off in 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 that construction. Okay, Egero. No omega remains, but it's a liquid future. I will raise. Now the it has to do with a third person personal pronoun, okay, which is okay, a standing in for temple. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise this temple. In other words, he could have said that, but to break up the monotony, he used a third person personal pronoun. That's what pronouns were invented, at least uh, part of the reason to, to break up the monotony. The repeating of one thing, if you will. You understand what I'm saying? Angelo went to the store and Angelo uh, bought some milk and Angelo came back. And after that, you know, it's too many Angelos. So to break up the monotony, the mentioning of one thing, okay, the pronoun was invented. You understand what I'm saying? Either the first person personal pronoun or the second person personal pronoun or the third person personal pronoun or the pronoun or the uh, who talks in the canines, uh, uh, pronouns or the article which is uh, can work as a weak demonstrative, that one or whatever the case may be. You understand? So that's just a deal. Let me just keep on moving this so that way it won't lock up because this is a nice phone, the Samsung Galaxy. But it thinks I'm the president of the United States or the president of the Philippines over here. I was born in the States. And so it locks up. It's too much security. I mean, I'm not, I'm not the president. I mean, I don't need all this security. You understand what I'm saying? It's an awful phone to use sometimes. It really is, even though it's a great phone. But back to this. Jesus answered, okay, them destroy. It's an imperative mood. It's a mood of command. Destroy this temple, Greek word not on, and in three days I will raise it up. I will raise up is a ghetto. It's a liquid future. Isn't a future tense? It's something that would happen in the future. You understand know what I'm saying? In the future. He didn't say destroy this temple and in three days God will give me another one. He didn't say destroy this temple and it will be held, uh, my body will be held in the memorial in the galaxy of Kolob or whatever the case may be. Is that what I'm saying? He didn't say that. He destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it up again. It is sown, it is raised. I mean, it reminds me of verse 40 or verses 41, uh, 42 and 43, I should say rather, of First Corinthians chapter 15. I think it's like uh, 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 spedetai and agedetai, something like that. So I have to look at the Greek words again. I haven't seen it in a while. Okay? Spedetai and then, you know, something like that. Is that what I'm saying? There's a there's a there's a one to one correspondence uh, correspondence between the it that was sown and the it that was raised up. And the Jehovah's Witnesses have to understand that and they have to agree. You know that Greek word hamala. You know hamala. You know to agree. It's like the honeymooners all over again. You know what I'm saying? Maybe that's why he used it. Hamala, 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 like that. Comes from the Greek word to agree. You know what I'm saying? So the honeymooners, you know, I mean, you know, they just told the witnesses how to really, you know, stand behind Alice a little bit and just to shut up. You know what I'm saying? They don't have a thing to say. And in the last day, God said that all mouths will be stopped and all will be found guilty. Because they don't believe this message. You understand what I'm saying? It doesn't say that God the Father is going to give me another body. Incidentally, Jesus had a part in his own resurrection. Now, the Father raised him from the dead, I agree. Uh, Praxis of the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 2, verse 24 and 31 and 32. Something to that effect we saw. Uh, uh, basically, you know, from uh, chapters uh, 1 through uh, 17, even though they're not mentioned in all the chapters, it is mentioned in chapter 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, uh, what is it? Um, I believe 10 has it, and 13 has it, and 17 has it. Resurrection, you know, resurrection verses. 
of Scripture. The most that contains the bodily resurrection of Jesus is actually chapter 13. It's found in verses uh, around uh, verses of 30, uh, 33, 34, and 37. It's found more in that. And I think chapter 2 is in, in second place with the three verses that I told you about. Verses 24, th uh, 31, and 32, something to that effect. You understand what I'm saying? So I uh, found uh, once in uh, at chapter uh, 3, 4, and 5. Not in chapter 6 and 7 because, you know, the, the apostles are dealing with other things. You understand what I'm saying? So that's just the deal. Once in, uh, once or twice in chapter 17, and so that's just it. So we, I mean, we looked at the resurrection all over the place, and I was trying to say that the Synoptic Gospels has uh, Egerte in the passive, uh, uh, Aris passive, all the way through. In each of the last chapters, which are resurrection chapters in all of those Gospels, you know, the Gospel of Mark, uh, uh, chapter 16, going back to Matthew, chapter 28, and going ahead to uh, Luke 24, in verse 6 of each chapter, so we learn to clone them, okay, uh, they're all they're all marked up with 6, you know, so this, I call it the Holy 666 in the Bible, you understand what I'm saying? The Holy 666 in the Bible has to do with the resurrection, a proclamation of the resurrection recorded in each of the verse 6s of each of the last chapters, which are resurrection chapters of the Synoptic Gospels. It's only that John uh, puts it and records it, you know, by inspiration, and uh, well, the numbers weren't there anyway, but... Uh, in uh, in the second to last chapter, chapter 20, verse 9, where there's an infinitive construction, anastani is there, from anastami, it's a me verb, like uh, diddle me. <coughs> you know what I'm saying? So let me just move it a little bit. So we're going to look at the Greek, let's look at the Greek now, but let me read the English again. Okay, this is from the NASB. It's crazy. Jesus answered them, Okay, destroy, destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. So Jesus had a part in his own resurrection. Now, we also, before we get into the Greek, we have to mention, okay, the Hebrew in uh, in uh, Psalm uh, 16, verse 10. And in some Greek Septuagints, it's actually Psalm 15, verse 10. Some other Greek Septuagints, you know, the apps and stuff like that, is in sixteen ten. But that's not like it. That's not like that in the. Uh, it's not like that in the eighteen fifty one a Greek Septuagint. You understand what I'm saying? It's actually fifteen ten and stuff like that. It actually, it's like uh, it's if you want to see Psalm twenty two, it's in Psalm twenty one. If you want to read Psalm one hundred, it's in Psalm one hundred and uh, uh, ninety nine. I should say ninety nine, and it's like that. You understand what I'm saying? I think Psalm 23 is Psalm 22. It's like, it's, it's just, you know, because some Psalms are stuck together. So that's what, that's what happened. I don't know if it was 42 and 43 that was stuck together or 19 and 20 that was stuck together and stuff like that. You understand what I'm saying? <coughs> <coughs> I think that's the King James only case. Incidentally, before we, we, we leave the Psalms, okay, um, Psalm 4 actually has a call and prayer uh, synonymous with each other. So Jesus said to pray to him in uh, 14, 14 of John. And incidentally, if we can't pray to Jesus, like the Jehovah's Witnesses teach, you understand what I'm saying? Then nobody can be saved because you have to call upon the name of the Lord and that's the only way of salvation. Now, special children, like my special child, she can't call upon the name of the Lord. So, you know, they're covered with special uh, mercy and grace. I will have compassion upon whom I have compassion and I will have mercy upon whom I have mercy. So that's just the deal. Let the little children come unto me. So Jesus is not going to reject a special child. So I'm not worried about Anna. But people that can call and refuse and don't agree will be condemned. This is, those are for the people that can't do it. They really can't in a sense, but they can't because of their hard hearts. So they're responsible for their sins and crimes. You understand what I'm saying? They are responsible because they can't do it. And the reason why they can't is because they're dead and partly because of their own uh, ways and, and sin getting in the way and stuff like that. Not to mention the, their their uh, their navels uh, were seeped into by the Adamic nature of uh, the first man, Adam. Okay? Not to mention uh, his wife getting him into trouble, Chawa. It's not Eve in Hebrew, it's actually Chawa. Now, I was going to speak on Psalm 16, verse 10, so let's check that out. Um, uh, Thou would not leave my soul in Sheol. 
Azov is leave or abandon. Azov. Azov. You will not uh, leave. And not is actually the Hebrew negative law. And there's two laws in there, actually, in Hebrew. So that's very, very helpful. That will not, and that will not. That will not leave my soul in Sheol. That means that his soul was active in Sheol. And we saw in verse 19, another verse 19, actually. Okay, so this is kind of neat. We can clone those, those verses. I never even thought of that. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 19, and this one over here can be cloned because it's also verse 19 of chapter 2, though, of John's Gospel. So uh, that's kind of neat. 19, 19. You understand what I'm saying? Anything that helps, uh, and I call that biblical retention or uh, spiritual retention, to retain these verses are everything. Okay? The Holy Spirit could crank it out of us, but we have to put it in it in order for Him to crank it out. Okay? You understand what I'm saying? Said Dr. Cook. Robert A. Cook, by the way. You understand what I'm saying? If you don't put anything in, well, then the Holy Spirit can't, can't, can't crank it out unless he reveals it to you. <laughs> but, but, you know, that's not the way of God, though. You have to put in the work. Uh, I'm not talking about uh, for salvation. I'm talking about uh, biblical studies. I mean, you have to put in the work. Okay, we can't be lazy. You understand what I'm saying? That's just the deal. Uh, it says over here, it says over there in First uh, Peter chapter three verse nineteen that he preached. Geruso is the Greek there in the lexicons, but it's actually ekeruxin, and the kasi is there. So you got the sigma sounding letter in the kasi. You can see it a little bit too. It's under the accidents of the kasi, basically. And then uh, that's just the deal. And then so the epsilon uh, is is plain for everybody to see. Ekeruxin, and that's uh, the sigma and epsilon is the first aorist. Uh, tense in as uh, you know, as, and that's the construction uh, based on uh, third person singular. Okay, so it'll be sigma alpha, sigma alpha, sigma, uh, sigma uh, epsilon, and sometimes a nu, right? You understand? Secondary uh, personal endings uh, has to do with the aris and the imperfect tense. You understand? Ekeruxen, he preached, so he was he was very much alive. In shield preaching, I made a participle out of out of it, but he preached. That's in the aorist tense, a simple completed action there. Anyway, because the augment is there, so it has to do with time. Meaning, there's a there's a there's a completeness to the action. It's a snapshot. You got a football game going on. You snap a picture, and that action is completed. The snapshot. If you're in the the football game or whatever the case may be, that's the imperfect tense. That, that you got a linear. Aspect going on a continuous action. You understand what I'm saying? But anyway, let's get back to this stuff. Oh, let me get back to uh, uh, Psalm uh, 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 16, verse 10. So Azav means abandon. But it says, Lo, you will not abandon my soul and shield. Now, if, if uh, Jesus said in that prophecy, okay, the Holy Spirit spoke through David, you understand what I'm saying? Uh, how can you how can you leave somebody in shield if he's annihilated already? You understand know what I'm saying? That's 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 the, that's the dilemma that Jehovah's Witnesses have. That he was preaching and he was an abandoned. Well, how can you abandon somebody that's uh, how can somebody preach that's annihilated? You understand know what I'm saying? It doesn't make sense. A cannot equal non A at the same time. You understand know what I'm saying? He can't be annihilated and preach at the same time. You're breaking the law of contradiction in philosophy. You understand know what I'm saying? That's just that's, 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 that's a that's a rule. <laughs> it's like who talks in the canines? You got rules. Everything has the rules. Can't jump out of the Empire State Building without nothing in your back. Okay, don't be so sexy and sassy and say you have a jetpack. I, I, I took it away, and so you jump you jump out the Empire State Building. You have to go down. You ain't gonna go up. You know what I'm saying? Thou shalt not tempt thy Lord thy God. You understand what I'm saying? That's just a deal. Well, let's go back to this. Destroy this temple. Huh? This, uh, Jesus said to them, let's not forget that. Destroy this temple, and in three days I will raise it up. Not another one. Not another one of the Father was going to give him. And I forgot to give you part two of the Psalm, 16 verse 10. Thou will not leave my soul in shield, and thou will not... And not and not. A Hebrew word law. Probably uh, Ude is there in the Greek Septuagint, some form of O. You understand what I'm saying? Which is one of the Greek negatives. The other one is May outside in the indicative mode. 
the mood of reality. They use me outside of that. You understand? Law is there in the Hebrew, not. But there's two laws there: not abandon and not allow your holy one, Hasid, holy one. Jesus is called Hasid in the Psalm 16, verse 10, and sometimes, well, in Hebrew, it's basically 16:10. The Greeks are too you know, like that. 15:10 sometimes. Hasid, he's called the holy, the holy one, the pious one, the kind one in a religious uh, context. You know what I'm saying? Chassid. Chet. Uh, probably Islamic or, or uh, the scene is there or the sin. Scene, sin, you know. It's called, the letter is called like that. This is, is, you know, named like that, I should say rather. And they have the Dalet. The D. Chassid. Chassid. You know what I'm saying? The holy one. The pious one. You know what I'm saying? To see corruption. Shachat in Hebrew. Shachat, you got the sheen, which is the SH letter found in Moses' name, Moshe, and then uh, and then chet, uh, which is a guttural, it's equal to the chi, or the other way around in Greek. You understand know what I'm saying? Uh, and then you have either the tet or the tav, you know, as uh, as the T sounding letter uh, there in a Hebrew. Shachat, you understand know what I'm saying? Two A classes there, but in modern uh, Hebrew, they all sound the same. Instead of Shema, or Shema is uh, Shema. Shema Yisrael. Yahweh Elohinu Yahweh Echad. That's the Shema in Hebrew. You know, so what I'm saying? The Tetragrammaton is found uh, uh, twice there. Uh, I think it's found twice right there. Uh, the Lord your God is one Lord. Yeah, yeah. Echad is there, and that's just the deal. Tagged by 259, according to Strong's. You understand what I'm saying? That's just the deal. That, along with another uh, Hebrew one, okay, uh, Kadosh, my opponent, the Swami from Brooklyn, JW uh, slash our Unitarian, uh, got right. That's the only two <laughs> words he got right in the Great Trinity debate, which I took a part of, uh, debating him, uh, Alexander Cruz. It lasted over two hours. You can see it on YouTube. It's on uh, the Angelo Rucci Quinones channel, or you can just type up, okay, the Great Trinity Debate by Angelo Quinones uh, versus Alexander Cruz. I mean, you don't have to put all that, just the Great Trinity Debate. And I, my face is next to some Greek and Hebrew letters, like that, in the wh in white background. Let's read it again. Uh, Jesus answered before my daughter comes back. Jesus answered them, destroy this temple, Greek word na'an, and in three days I'll raise it up. Now let's read what they're saying, what they, what they said to him. The Jews, okay, the Jews then said, it took uh, 46 years uh, to build uh, uh, this temple, and will you, that's how you have to read it, and will you raise it up in, in three days, will you uh, be a man of mortal, like that, you have to read it like that. Will you? That, that, that's how you have to read it. You? You a uh, man, a, a, a creature. You, uh, you a mortal. You. I mean, this temple was built in ne Nehemiah's time, rebuilt, by the way. And then uh, it's, 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 it's what he said, yes. But you, you say you're gonna build it up in three? How? Three days? You don't get this thing. <laughs> this is too hard for us. Those punks. Unbelieving ones, you understand know what I'm saying? Let there, let his blood be upon us and upon our children. See, that's the problem. Now we don't know why the Jews suffer so much. I mean, they suffer because of their own sins and crimes sometimes, and they suffer because of prophecy. I mean, they suffer because you know Satan is just it just hates the Jews. I understand all of that, but they were unbelieving and they had to pay. That's why the destruction of Jerusalem came in AD 70. Don't you think it didn't come because of another, another reason? All these things we will do. They should have said to Jehovah, no, we can't do it. We can't do this law. Oh, no, we'll do it. Okay, well, all right. Well, you know. Okay. I mean, I love the Jewish people. That's not the, that's not the issue. But you got the unbelieving Jews in the story. 
Not the believing Jews, not Mary uh, Magdalene and Mary, the, 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 the mother of James and Salome and all those people, those dear people, you understand the woman at the well, even though she was a Samaritan, but still. Woman, you do not know what you worship. We know what we worship because salvation is not of the Jews. Like It's not from the Jews. It was given to the Jews, but the plan is the prescription. The tabernacle, the, 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 the everything. You understand what I'm saying? Just read, uh, you know, uh, Romans chapter 9, verses 1 through 4. Like that. It was given to the Jews. That's just a deal. Uh, and will you, a mere man, a mother, a creature, a young man, a sure? you sure? It's absurd. You see what I'm saying? Try and turn to the second time and my mother's woman be born. That's just a deal. This is what's going on here. I know, I know Nicodemus was the same man. These Jews, I don't know. Maybe some of them were, were at the uh, day of Pentecost and they got saved. Oh, well, you know, God is merciful. If he sends rain upon the just and the unjust, you know, he sends the gospel upon the just and the unjust. You understand what I'm saying? But let's just hasten because my daughter's coming back, says in verse 21. But he was, okay, speaking, says uh, 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 a believer, a Jewish believer, John, you know, Yachanan in Hebrew, uh, Ioannes in, in, in Greek. But he was speaking of the temple of his body. That's the genitive of opposition there. Opposition, the temple of his body. That's what he was talking about. He was talking about his body. But why did he say body? Well, he didn't want him to understand. That's all. Was, I mean, Jesus was worse than the Riddler. I'm just say. I mean, the gospel is not for everybody, guys. It's not. This is not a sleazy, easy, cheesy religion. It is a religion. Through religion and undefiled is this. To visit, you know, the orphans and, and, and keep us himself spotted from the wild and all of this. I hate when people say, oh, it's not a religion. This is, this is, this is a relationship. Come on, guys. Let's stop with this stuff. It is a relationship, but it's a religion. Hasid. He's the holy one in a religious context. Hasid. You understand what I'm saying? Jesus wasn't kind just to be kind. He wasn't holy just to be holy. He was holy because he wanted to obey his father. You know what I'm saying? He wasn't kind just to, just to, to raise somebody from the dead out of the kindness of his heart, and that's about it. With no reflection of the glory of the, of the father and not him being glorified and stuff like that. No, no, no. It was a religious context that he was chassid. You understand what I'm saying in Hebrew? You will not allow your holy one, Hasid, to see, to undergo the key, corruption, shachat, the epithara in Greek. But, enough of that. Let's get to the Greek because we have to go. I mean, we have to, we have to spend time in Luke chapter 24, verse 39. Yes. Now, why is my phone like that? I hit all my apps from my son. You know, all the important apps I have it in folders. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, this was full. And then uh, he disabled two apps, my Netflix app, app and my, uh, what was the other, after he, he, I don't know what was the other one. I forgot, I mean, was, you know. He took the battery meter out, so I had to get another one. I mean, you know, it was just pure distraction. But let's go to, um, that's Sean Donnelly, you know. That's the treasure, you understand what I'm saying? The General Hospital, I got that name from that. All right, so... Let's make sure. Now, I have it in John's Gospel, I think, right? It said J O. I mean, I hate that, you know? It doesn't really tell you anything. Uh, okay, so we got uh, chapter 2 and verse 19 is right here recorded. Let's get to the Greek, and then I might have to do a part 2 for uh, Luke chapter 24, verse 39, but maybe I can do it. Answered, and that's an AIP, okay? Uh, Aris indicative passive. So let me see the yeah the detonator is there. So that's Aris passive. Apecrife, apecrife. You understand what I'm saying? Out capital alpha p epsilon, and that's typifying a temple, by the way. Speaking about temples, now on well, I mean that's typifying a Greek structure. That the p. That's what is. That's why it looks. I, I I used to say that it's like a stool, but it's not a stool. It's a, it's a temple. Okay. 
B. Epsilon Kappa. Ro. Don't say Ro. That's lazy for the Greeks. Iota uh, with their cute marker. And Data and Eta is there. And the Data and Eta is easy. The Data and Eta, like I said before, is is uh, Aris Pass of Morphine. Shape of... Uh, mor morf morphine comes from the Greek word Marfe, which is found only three times. If you count verse 12, you can. But anyway, uh, verse uh, 12 of chapter 16 of Mark. The other ones are found and recorded. Okay, Philippians chapter 2, verse 6, and Philippians chapter 2, verse 7. Okay? Has en marfe este uhu parchon. Okay? Who being in very nature God, says the NIV. NIV is the strongest Bible in the world, maybe the NET as well, for the deity of Christ. That's why Satan hates his soul and erected, okay, uh, no pun intended, and erected, okay, uh, the, 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 the woman, the great hater in the church of these good Bibles, to actually fight the war within the kick, the church. Because he, he didn't he couldn't do it from the outside. He used the Romans, he used, uh, you know, different uh, 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 armies, so he couldn't do it that way. So he infiltrated, it said Martin Lloyd-Jones, by using, you know, uh, eh, a phony Christmas story. But, but not only that, you know, Gail Ripplinger to, to uh, write her disgusting book on New Age Bible Versions. And she hung up curtains. She didn't even have a scholarship. She didn't even have uh, degrees in Greek. She had degrees in designing. She she designed curtains, guys. You understand what I'm saying? It made, it made some amazing charts to boot. I understand that. It's a very formidable book. But if you know your Greek, if you know your stuff, well, you're, you're going to understand that the, the, the Greek word Jesus in its three different forms, uh, Jesus, Yesu, Yesu, and Yesu. You understand what I'm saying? Okay, Yesu for the data for the genitive is found 917 times in the Greek New Testament, but in the NIV is found 1,241 times. At least one NIV has it like that. To uh, a King James's uh, minuscule number of 971 times. So this idea that the NIV deleted the name Jesus and it has it more by a count of 270 times. Ridiculous, but we're not talking about that. <laughs> we're not. Apekirite. And say, let's close this up. Apekirite. Apekirite what or whom? Apekirite Jesus. A Jesus? There's no article high here. That's the nominative, uh, subject nominative. He answered, right? Subject nominative. There's only like five or six uses in a nominative uh, use pool. So it has to be the nominative of, uh, it's not the uh, nominative of exclamation. You understand what I'm saying? That's just a deal. It's not the predicate nominative. Okay. That's found and recorded, and basically in John one one C, and that's why it doesn't have an article to identify that is a that it is a product of nominative. I mean, you know your stuff at the tower. The absence of the article is everything there. It, it identifies what kind of adjective that is. You understand what I'm saying? And the force is laid upon him being God because uh, the, the the nominative there, okay, the predicate nominative is found first in the text. But anyway, we're not talking about that. Let's get back to this. Apikrite Jesus. Or actually, yeah, Jesus is not much the case. Jesus. And Greek word Kai is there, not there. And that's just the deal. Said, okay, Apen from Epo. Okay. I say. Apen. You understand what I'm saying? And said. Uh, to them, and that's uh, our toys, and that's uh, the case of interest, the, the date of case, says Manti in his uh, old manual. The case of interest, you understand what I'm saying? To them. He said to them. Our toys from the, from the, and that's plural, by the way, our toys, you know, uh, our toy, our tone, our toys, there you go, our tools, you understand what I'm saying? Praise God, he gets the glory. And that's someone like me, a toys. Destroy. And that's an AMA. What's that? An Aris imperative active. You understand what I'm saying? And the imperative morphing is there. Te. That's easy. Te. It's not a it's not a, 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 a um, primary active personal ending. It's not that. Okay. Or uh, actually, um, you, well, they borrow, they borrow uh, men and te come from the uh, the primary active, but it's actually, in actuality, a secondary uh, active uh, personal ending because um, you know there's a crossover there of men te from 
It's just like uh, Meta Ste uh, crossed over from the uh, from the primary uh, passive middle passive personal endings to the secondary passive uh, middle pa- uh, middle um, personal ending side of the chart. Even the Sigma crossed over in the primary active side of things. You know what I'm saying? To the secondary active, you know, new Sigma and nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Destroy. Uh, I know Luz was here, you know. Luzate. Luzate. Now, the Sigma and Alpha is here. So, I, I guess that that would be the first Iris uh, morphine. That's, so, that's kind of easy. And then the Te is here. You see the imperative morphine. So you got the you got the Aris morphine, sigma and alpha, and then te, which is the uh, uh, second person uh, imperative morphine. Second person, tote tosa uh, mouse has in his chart with a whole bunch of question marks <laughs> above them. And so not a whole bunch of question marks, but just one question mark on each side, and then he goes into the into you know the regulars, you know. Destroy, okay, Luzate. Lu, from Lu. So Lu is the stem. Lu. So Lu is the stem over here. Luzate, destroy. It's an imperative. It's the mood of command. Destroy it. It's commanding these two, so destroy nothing in there. Not, his hour has not yet come, but destroy. Okay, well, the what? The Tan. That's an excuse to case construction. The temple. The temple. Atanaan, Nu Alpha Omicron Nu. He's telling them to destroy the body that he has at the present time. Not another one. Okay, not another one. Even though nobody teaches that he was given another body, but Islam says that he wasn't crucified. They don't believe in the Adamic nature. They don't believe in original sin. They don't believe in the cross of Christ. They don't believe in the resurrection of Jesus. They don't believe anything at all. And that's why Islam is one of these problematic religions. And a thorn in the side of the flesh. Uh, since they were born in the, in the 7th century. You know what I'm saying? I think in the 600s, right? I had to be in the 600s, right? He went to... Uh, like that from Medina, whatever the case may be. Temple Naan, this. And that's uh, Tutan, this. And that's in the case of the case, the case of limitation as to, ex- as to extent. You understand what I'm saying? Tan Naan Tutan, this. And Greek, Greek word guy. Okay, Greek word guy. In, and, and it's going to always take the date of case. Three, okay, uh, Trisin. Okay, three. Ah, and you see the sigma and iota there. A uh, trisin. That's in the dates of uh, plural. Okay, so that's just a deal. Trisin. Okay, and uh, uh, days is uh, hemerais. Okay, that's a you know. Toys, dice, toys. There you go. The ice is here, right? Hemed ice, days. I will raise ep. Egero. Egero. Epsilon gamma, epsilon rho, omega with the circumflex, and don't forget the sobriety maca over the first epsilon. I will raise. This is, a, this is, an, this is a, 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 a liquid future. See the rho there? It was supposed to be epsilon gamma, epsilon. Hero, epsilon sigma and, and uh, omega but the epsilon sigma like I said before were dropped off because of the liquid uh, hero, the presence of the of the of the liquid I will raise it now where's the it ah oh, the it is here Horatio don't worry about it don't worry about it it's here <laughs> out on it it I will raise it. No, no, not another one. Not the one that my father was going to give me, you know. Uh, no. I will raise it. Now, if it says I will raise it, how can he be annihilated? If he, meaning Christ, was going to raise it up from the dead, how can he do it if he's annihilated? I never thought about that. I thought about everything else. Well, praise God. 
How can he preach and be an ally at the same time? But I never said this. How can he raise anything up from the dead if he himself spiritually is dead? How? See, you're breaking the law of non-contradiction again. A cannot equal non A at the same time. Alton is limited to the body, the temple of Christ. It's limited to that. The extent of the raising of a future raising will be straight jacketed to that body. Only. Now, knowing that. Knowing that Jesus rose himself from the dead, and not only that, that the Father, the glory of the Father did it in the Holy Spirit, according to, you know, those was a scripture that I gave you in Acts chapter uh, 2, verse 24 and 31 and 32. Don't forget the Holy Spirit raising, he was raised by the Spirit of Holiness in verse 4 at chapter 1 of Romans. Does not forget the Holy Spirit was involved in the deal. Let's not forget. That's just it. You can't, you can't, you can't, you know, you, you shot yourself in the foot by writing uh, the, truth, the, the truth that leads to eternal life, you know, in 1968. You, shot, you usually stab yourself in the neck, but you shot yourself in the foot. Why? Well, you can tell that a religion is not a true religion where it accepts some parts of scripture and deny other parts. You see? That's just the deal. Always putting your foot in it. Or you're putting your foot in your mouth. You put your foot in it, and then you put your foot in the mouth, and what comes out is the, the stuff that you had in your foot. Is that what I'm saying? That's just a deal. All right, let's go to the English, all the English text. And let's go mostly on down to Luke chapter. You know, I, tell, I hope I have some time, guys. Time is my mortal enemy, you understand? My daughter will be returning back. I'm glad, but still... My wife is not so reliable when it comes to orders. You understand what I'm saying? I give her the mood of command, and sometimes she doesn't do it. Let's try. Luke 24. <laughs> Boy, I'll tell you about. Oh, married life. No wonder Jesus didn't get married. You can come for that. He didn't need that. He didn't need it. But Joseph Smith and Muhammad needed it. Fleshly religions, you understand? Consummated a marriage at the age of nine, knowing her at the age of six. That's not Jesus. That's Muhammad, though. And incidentally, how can how can a Muhammad be greater than Jesus in their uh, religion? If the word, if he's the word of Allah, and he's not, but I'm just saying, let's play along. If he's the word of Allah, meaning Jesus, you know. And 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 uh, Muhammad is the prophet of Allah. Who's 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 greater? The word the word is greater than the prophet itself. You know what I'm saying? That's a contradiction. Not to mention that one of the sons of Noah in one sura, meaning chapter, survives, and the same son of Noah dies in another sura chapter in the Quran. I mean, it's a contradiction. Can't work that out. You can work out the angels and the Marys and then this and then that and who spoke or who didn't, but man, you can't work that out. That's just plain and day. Yeah, I mean, he died in one sorrow and he lived in the other one? Come on, man. <laughs> that says over here in the NASB, see my hands, okay? Cheras mu, see. Actually, that's in the mood of command. See my hands and my feet. You understand what I'm saying? That it is I myself. Touch. And that's another imperative. Touch me and see. That's another imperative. Where a spirit does not have flesh. Greek word sarks and astea bones. As you see that I have. You see me? Said Jesus. I don't want you only to see, but I want you to touch and feel. Don't think that I'm a spirit like you did when I was walking on the water and you thought I was a spirit then. 
You're doing the same thing again. I'm telling you, I don't know how Jesus supported these creatures. Oh, faithless generation, how long shall I be with you? How long shall I put up with you? Bring him to me. Excuse me. I'm telling you, that's King James Holy Curse. That's what I'm saying. I don't know why the King James Holy Curse this, King James Holy Curse that, if James, if King James was, this was destroyed. And I think his son was put to death. And I think Richard, Richard Bancroft died, right? And, and during the project? There's some people that died during the project of the King James. Some people got sick, some people got ruined. And Bob Barker, not from the Price is Right, but Bob Barker, who sold the King James, got into trouble. When he did a wrong translation, he uh, uh, he was financially ruined. What did he say? The unrighteous shall shall inherit the earth, something like that. I mean, he did one of these translations, you know. He did something wrong. <laughs> okay. Had to do with the King James, man. I mean, he wasn't around that time. I don't want to hear it. Some people died during the King James. The making of the King James. You know what I'm saying? Incidentally, it's a great movie, The Making of the King James. Um, it's on. Uh, I had the DVD, but shucks, I, I left it. You know, I left it in the DVD player before I came to uh, the Philippines to live. I left it inside the DVD player. Goodness gracious, man! I should have brought more things, by the way. I mean, if you're gonna relocate, like I did, just bring your stuff with you. Don't don't rush. Bring your furniture. Your fur, especially you know, if it was from your parents and stuff like that. I mean, you know. Bring your pictures, bring your books, bring your tapes, bring, I mean, bring your stuff. You're going to need them. I wish I had them. Now I have to buy them back. And some of the stuff you can't buy back, you can't, you can't buy easily the 1950 or 51 uh, version of the, of the NWT just to expose them. You know what I'm saying? You can't buy Julius Armanti's uh, booklet, uh, Was Peter a Pope? <laughs> you can't buy those. We got, there's certain things you can't buy. Want, and some things I don't want to buy. You know. Let's get back to this. Let's read it again before we get into the Greek. See my hands and my feet, said Jesus. That it is I myself. Touch me and see. For a spirit, I mean, come on, does not have flesh and bones as you see that I have. That's just a deal. Let's look at the Greek and see these imperatives. He gave an imperative to the Jews. It's try, but now he's giving imperatives to the to the to the, to the disciples, and then he carried them out because it says in First John chapter one, that which we have seen with our eyes and have heard with our ears and have handled what you know concerning the word of life. This is the other logo, so lagos, you understand? Let's look at the Greek. Let's hasten. So you know who's coming. <laughs> Miss Charming herself. I love my daughter, you know. I do love my daughter. But man, when she cries, it's just she cries up a storm. I mean, that's just the deal. That's the punch up uh, loop there. Uh, Luke 24 and verse 39. You understand? Now, where is it? It's getting closer. There you go. Let's check it out. See, sí, eat it there. As an imperative, eat it there. Sometimes it's idu as an imperative. But the te is glaring here. And Edu, you don't see the Epsilon. That's the problem. It contracted with the Omicron and became O, I believe. But over here is very stack. You understand what I'm saying? The, 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 the uh, Aris, uh, not the Aris, but the imperative morphing is not Epsilon. It's, it's, it's Tau Epsilon. That's an imperative morphing also. Just like the, 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 the Tau um, uh, Omega is, and the Tosa is, and the Stos, Stos, like that, you know? You know what I'm saying? See. I'm commanding you to see. The. Tas. Kheiras. The hands. Not merely just the hands, but the hands of me. Mu. The genitive of uh, possession, probably. Of me. And Greek word Caius says over here. 
And the Greek word Kai says over here Kai. And then let me see. Says over here Kaira. So it says, uh, let's see over here. As this the article is, let me just look at this again. It says see the and that's tas. Okay, it goes with Kairas. Tas Kairas mu. Okay, the hands of me. Okay, and Greek word Kai, linking word. You understand what I'm saying? The and that's tus uh, feet padas. Tus padas. So the feet, and it's gonna have another mu there. Okay, tu spadas mu. Okay, tu spadas mu. Tas geras mu, tu spadas mu. The hands of me and the feet of me. That Greek word hati, and that's actually a conjunction. That I, ego, from the ego paradigm, ego mu moi me, like that, you know. M U M O M U M O M M A like that to throw the emphatics and in, in the into the pool into the scheme of things. Amy, this is a me verb like in diddle me, like diddle me. <laughs> Ego Amy, I I am he altas. I am he is I myself as an adjectival intensive, I believe. Altas, okay. Ego Amy, ego Amy, altas. Touch, and that's an imperative. Pse la fe sate, and that's the sigma alpha. The the, the first error is morphine. The ten epsilon, the ten F, the tau and epsilon is the imperative morphine. And so that's just the deal. And you got the PC there, uh, PC, Eta, now they's called Eta, Lambda, Alpha, Phi, like a Phi, 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 Eta, now they's called Eta. You understand what I'm saying? Uh, so that's just the deal. Pse la fa o. Why did it lengthen to Eta? Well, it lengthened to Eta because of the transformative. That's why, I believe. Before the sigma and the alpha, which is the first aorist form. You understand what I'm saying? First aorist. Uh, touch. What's this a deal? Touch. Me. Me. And Greek word kai. And me is in the accusative case. Si. Idete. For. Hati. A spirit, but Numa, the, the old Bible teachers used to just say Numa. Then he mentioned the P. I guess that's English influence getting into the Greek pronunciation. Okay, Mouse pronounces it as Panuma. Barnhouse used to not pronounce it uh, as uh, Panuma, and he, he was a Greek scholar. He knew Greek. He knew his Greek. He, he was more of a historian than a Greek scholar, but, I mean, he, he, he knew his Greek very well. He just didn't want to speak it at that time because really the church really didn't understand those things too much. I mean, uh, as just a regular churchgoer nowadays, I mean, there's Greek geeks all over the place. You know what I'm saying? I say Greek geeks in a, in a, in a, in a very kind way. You know what I'm saying? There's a goat outside my window. That's all I need. Let me see if you can hear him. Yeah, he's, he's leaving. You have to be careful with goats. Don't do anything wrong to a goat. Uh, a person did something wrong uh, as a Chicago Cub uh, owner or stadium representative or something like that, and then the Cubs were cursed. He didn't let a goat come in with his owner. And I think that the owner cursed the, uh, cursed the Cubs, and then and the Cubs... I don't think they won a. Did they win a World Series recently? I don't know if that curse was lifted like the Boston Red Sox curse to Al Green because I'm a Yankee fan and it was lifted up in 2004 when they came and back from 3-0. <laughs> Is that what I'm saying? But I don't know if the Cubs won. I gotta, I gotta check that out. I don't know if that curse is still remaining on the on the Cubs. And that's the goal, you hear him? Outside the door. So I don't throw rocks at a goat or anything like that. I just don't do it, you know. A spirit, but Numa, 
Okay, P, that goes to the Greek structure again. Nu, nowadays called ni, epsilon, upsilon, nowadays called epsilon. Mu, nowadays called mi, sometimes pronounced mu. Alpha. Sarka, and that's flesh. So you got, that's in the singular. So you got the, the paradigm for sarks is actually, okay, you know what I'm saying? The, the stem is, is sark, or the root is sark. And then you put the, you put the sigma in the nominative, Okay, and then the, the kappa and sigma become kasi, so you, then you have sarks. But you, have, you don't have to worry about the kasi only twice, like sarksi and sarks. You, everything else is just kappa, I believe. So you don't, you don't have to worry about the, the kasi too, too many times in uh, what has to do with sarks, the sark paradigm. Uh, so sarks, uh, sarks, sarkas, sarki, and sarka. And then you have uh, Sarkis and Sarkon and Sarksi and uh, Sarkas. I, I think that's a complete paradigm for uh, the Greek word for Sarks. Okay. So that's just a deal there. Now, uh, 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 a spirit, flesh, is sex, or Sarka, as it says over here, and Greek word Kai, bones, Astea. You got astea for bones. It's in the plural, by the way, bones. You understand what I'm saying? Not, and that's uk, and that's one of the Greek negatives. The other one is me outside the indicative. So you got the indicative over here, so it's u. Okay, but it's uk because of the upcoming epsilon and the other word. Eche has from the echo paradigm. Echo, eche, eche. Okay. Uh, as kathos me m and that's emphatic now it's not too much emphasis when people are teaching emphatics but as a as a teacher and preacher of the word of god praise god according to the will of the holy spirit verse 11 of chapter 12 of first corinthians and that's how you know that he's a person because he dispenses uh these gifts according to his will bulletai is the greek word for the holy spirit having a will you understand what i'm saying so only the father and jesus has a will okay matthew 26 and then matthew 8 says that jesus has a will around verse 3 okay i will be thou clean like that you know what i'm saying Thelo, i think it's the greek word for will there or for jesus having a will but but anyway the holy spirit has a will so i just wanted to uh, glorify god and the holy spirit for him uh, choosing me to have any gift as a teacher or a preacher okay of the word of god and a preacher of the word of god i have to i have to i have to emphasize the emphatic i have to emphasize it in the preaching of it you see, okay, um, let me see over here. As a me, M, you see, the emphatic there. And some manuscripts probably don't have M, it only has me. But this one has it, so I have to enforce it. You see, okay, Theorete. Okay, from Theoreo. Okay, isn't the present indicative active? Theorete, and then the te is is a uh, is um, the te is a primary act of personal ending. The aris and the imperfect uses secondary uh, uh, active and passive personal endings. You know that the present, future, and uh, perfect uh, uses primary active personal uh, uh, primary active or uh, middle passive uh, personal endings from the master personal ending chart. You understand what I'm saying? That grid with the four boxes. You understand what I'm saying? Left hand side are primary uh, and the right hand side, according to us looking at it, okay, you got the secondaries in there and those boxes. You understand what I'm saying? Up and down, all across the board. Gatos echo, it says over here, actually. And then uh, you see, okay, te o rete. So the te is a personal ending. That's a personal ending. In a, a primary active personal ending uh, chart. Mente unsi. You understand what I'm saying? Nothing sigma iota, mente unsi. Or omega, uh, o ace a amen et usi. Some people teach it like that. You see, Theorete 
having a que ejanta that's easy uh, where how how should we work it out from backwards or you know you know from left to right or from right to left okay you can do it either way you can work backwards the case ending remember that that participles are verbal adjectives okay they're verbal adjectives they can work uh, verbally or adjectivally the thing about a participle, participle they share two systems it, it contains two systems the verbal system and the noun system the case ending is tagged after the participle sometimes you can see it sometimes it's visual sometimes it's not okay like in haon okay uh the great haon you don't see okay you see part of the uh, active morphine for the participle the new is there the towel is dropped off and you don't see the case ending you know what I'm saying? But anyway, you see the case ending here, the alpha, and that's in that's an accusative uh, uh, masculine singular uh, K, uh, case ending. See, see, Panta. The the paradigm Panta can help you there. The new Natal is the 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 main vein uh, active uh, participial uh, uh, morphine or form or shape, and then you have a connecting vowel Omicron there, and Ech is the stem, is the present uh, uh, stem, ten stem. Ech from ah uh, echo. So you got the stem ech, a connecting vowel omicron. Now it's called omicron. The new tau is a participial morphine, and then the case ending of a noun is tagged right after the participial construction. Uh, the thing that actually uh, forms the participle. There's a case ending here, alpha. So you have to worry about part of the participles. You have to worry about a verb form and a and a noun form being in the same word not mixed but but meeting each other like two cars of a train you understand what i'm saying well, the first car of the train okay you have several cars here you have uh let me see how many cars you have here you got one two three four cars so the first car of the train okay you should actually write it like that in the greek uh some people will probably complain it's like too childish, but I will do it. I will write it like that so people can understand the linking of it all. The stem here, ech, the connecting vowel, omicron, the new tau, parasitopial morphine, and then the, the case ending. I mean, that can help. People always complain if you're fat or skinny. I mean, it's just a deal. You know what I'm saying? If you're fat, you, they complain. If you're too skinny, they complain. I mean, they're going to complain. The people is always going to complain. Are always going to complain. Having a chanta, a chanta actually because of the acute marker, a chanta having, and 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 the participle is always continuous. So that's continuous. This is, this is a linear aspect that's of the, the continuousness of of it all. Okay, he just didn't material. He didn't materialize. Okay, this body just for the meantime. That's continuous. You understand what I'm saying? Just like the, you know, and this is a, a present tense, and that could be continuous, right? Participles are continuous anyway, so you got to lump them together. And the imperfect tense uh, can be is always continuous, always. The participles are always continuous. The imperfect tense are always continuous. And outside of this, the present tense can be continuous. It can be continuous. Not all the time. You got to look at the context. You understand what I'm saying? But it can be continuous. You got all of those uh, uh, options. To write out what you want to write out You understand what I'm saying So Jesus was commanding uh, These disciples to, to see him And to judge him They were listening to him They didn't have to command him to listen I mean you know They were listening to him So they were they were using After all this stuff After the, the, the seeing and the touching Okay three out of the five senses That God gave us You understand what I'm saying See and touch now, I said in my study well, that is going to be deleted because of Anna crying too much. That there's different, there are different kind of learners. Some some people need hands-on experience to learn. Okay, they need to touch an engine or something like that, or whatever the case may be. You know, and then there's the listener learner, and then there's the, the visual learner. So I don't know if God was uh, uh, doing that here. Um, I know he was uh, aware of it. I mean, he made the human constitution. 
So he's very aware that not people, not all people learn in the same way. Huh, you there outside? Hello? Who's that? Ah, no, 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 not, not yet, not yet, not caught on. Unya, unya. Yeah. Because I'm doing a study. Thank you. He wanted to bring me Sean, my, my Sean Donnelly, my, my, uh, so I should have said, instead of saying no, no, because he, he understands that, I don't want him to think that I don't want him here, I should have said ayao, ayao, that means no, no in, in, in Filipino. <laughs> Next time I'll say ayao, ayao, because he doesn't understand that. I mean, quite frankly, he doesn't understand no. <laughs> he does it anyway. Whenever I say no, he, he does it. So I should say yes, yes, and maybe he won't do it. He's two years old. I mean, you know, his birthday is next month. And I should be sorry for the witnesses that don't celebrate the birth of their child. I mean, come on, man. How cold can you be? No wonder your pockets are full of money. You don't have to celebrate, you know, uh, Christmas and New Year's and, 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 and Valentine's Day. You ain't going to get nothing. From your boyfriend or from your uh, husband, you understand what I'm saying? Valentine's Day, you wait till hell freezes over, which is a long way. You ain't gonna get nothing. You understand what I'm saying? Not even a card with Monopoly money in it, you're not gonna get. <clears throat> you understand what I'm saying? It's King James only curse against my chagrin. <clears throat> you understand what I mean? You ain't gonna get nothing. I mean, from the witnesses, I, 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 I don't know why you have him as a boyfriend. I'm just saying. Don't cry. You're the one who chose the guy. Don't cry in your soup. Don't cry in your beer. Don't leave your mustache there, by the way, and the cop. It's just like it's just like Siegfried, you know. Saw uh, gets uh, you know Maxwell Smart. Maxwell Smart was trying to be a, a German in disguise, you know, and then he left his mustache on his glass, and then oh, and then uh, Siegfried said. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, you look like smart, but if it wasn't for that mustache on your glass, you'd look just like the mustache on your glass. You are smart. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but, uh, you don't have to celebrate Mother's Day. You don't have to celebrate her birthday. You don't have to celebrate your anniversary. You know what I'm saying? And you don't have to celebrate, you know, uh, Thanksgiving Day. You don't celebrate that. I mean, no wonder you got money's coming out your pockets. You know what I'm saying? That's just the deal. You understand know what I'm saying? That's just a deal. That's just a deal all across the board. I don't have to get into the Greek again. I mean, I just got into it, man. I mean, it's just, it's just multiple commands. It's just, a, it's just, it's just the kernel commanding the disciples. You understand know what I'm saying? The corporal, whatever you want to say. I mean, you know, it's just, it's just the commander in chief. Well, he said goes. And so you have to believe in the resurrection. If you don't, you're a filthy liar and a fraud. And you try to charge God with foolishness also by by saying that he destroyed the body and he conjured about another one. I mean, that's tampering with state's evidence. You're saying that God is a fraud? Is that what you're saying? He tampered with the body of Jesus, destroying it? Why? What's the logic in it? What's the reason? Why would God destroy the, the, the body of Jesus? For what purpose? I mean, he has state's evidence. You understand what I'm saying? He has the greatest, the greatest evidence in the world. Why would he get rid of the body? As a prosecutor, you don't get rid of evidence. You, 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 you put it up and shut up. You understand what I'm saying? You use that evidence to, to make an arrest. And to hopefully get an indictment and to get okay somebody acquitted no a guilty verdict but how why would you destroy the body of jesus why would you have the father meaning or rather destroy the body of jesus for what what does that do so when jesus said his mom i, I myself well then he will be lying because it's not himself if that wasn't his birthday suit You understand what I'm saying So yeah, you're charging God with lying Through Christ because he told You know he gave the words to Christ To say and the things to do Oh uh, touch my hands And by the way it's not really my body But touch it anyway is my That's ridiculous man You're charging God with fraudery You don't know what you're doing 
Just because you're frauds at the tower don't make God a fraud. You know, the World War II, and there was no World War II. It's like, Gillig- it's like Gilligan's Island all over again. It wasn't a World War II. That's, that's, that's deception. It was a magic wheat and car. And this is not Jack and the Beanstalk, you understand what I'm saying? Five dollars, so he charged five dollars a pop to his own people. That punk, uh, 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 Charles says Russell, and then rejected him, and they got a worse. They got somebody worse and made them into bakers, you know what I'm saying? And they had their daughters into bakers, that's what the deal is. It wasn't even a judge, he was a lawyer, for God's sakes. Millions now living will never die, and they're all dead. And if they're not, they're hanging by a thread, you understand what I'm saying? Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob were going to return, and they did. And they only were, there only were two Cadillacs, okay, in Bethsaurim. What happened? Abraham lost his license. Uh, Isaac was too busy laughing to get one, and then somebody stole the, 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 the one of Jacob. What happened? What's the deal? That's not why there's only two cars. Why not three? Of course, they didn't come back. Of course, he was lying. The false dates and crimes. Either, 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 either. Camping in the evangelical church did it twice, but the Jehovah's Witnesses keep on doing it every year. They didn't learn in 1941. They did another one in 1975. You understand what I'm saying? And then they did another one in 1988. Come on, man. Like Joe Biden all over again. You understand what I'm saying? But that's just a deal. So let's rehash what we saw. What we saw in chapter two of the Gospel of Qatar, Yohan, in verse 19. You understand? That, that Jesus said destroy this temple. This is an imperative. It's an imperative mood. Destroy this temple and in three days I will raise it. It. You understand? Altan. On the Altar's paradigm. I will raise it up again, not another one, you understand? One, it, 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 it. I will raise it up again, you understand? That's just a deal, that's just a deal all across the board. Not another one. I will raise it up again. The antecedent of Altan is Naan. What has to match? Well, it has to be singular. That matches. It's just a deal. It has to be, uh, it, 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 it's just a deal. It has to be, it has to be masculine. It doesn't have to be the same case, but you know, Harika is the same case anyway. A scraby on top of the mashed potatoes. That's a cherry on the top, and that's a, uh, of the ice cream or whatever the case may be, and that's the icing on the cake. The same cake you don't eat in the birthday party of your son. It's a crime. It's Corban all over again. Whatever I could have gave to you, I'm not going to give it to you. I'll give it to God. Yeah, that's just the same thing. Corban. Yeah, punk. That's just the deal. Yeah, punks. And you have to tell God that you have been a punk at the tower. How shall you escape if you neglect so great salvation? Now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. And if you don't call upon the name of the Lord, you're a punk and you're going straight to hell. Fire and torture. Well, the worm dieth not, or the maggot. You know, that's how you have it in your translation. And the fire is not quenched. If it's not eternal, why does John the Baptist say in chapter 3, you understand, it's unquenchable fire? Asbestos, I think, is the, is the, is the Greek there. You understand what I'm saying? Unquenchable fire. It's unquenchable. Now, if it didn't lie, if it was annihilation, it was cringed. It's unquenchable fire. You're going to be in everlasting flames. Prepare for the devil and his messengers. People like you who went around, you know, with your hot pants on and your little skirts and your tights, okay, going around neighborhood to neighborhood, shop to shop with your stupid record player because you didn't have any power of the Holy Spirit. So you needed to turn on a machine. Imagine the disciples would turn on a record player, you know. Uh, imagine uh, a record player be turned on by Jesus and the disciples. Yes? Oh, yeah, get the phone, but don't bring the, don't bring Sean. I'm almost finished, okay? I'm almost finished, my love. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm almost finished. This is about the resurrection again. It's important. Okay. I'll, I'll go there now. I'll, I'll, you know, I'll let you know when I'm finished. It's not a dark in here. 
Thanks, Anna. Okay, I'll call. I'll call you soon. I mean, I'll get Anna soon. Hi, is she sleeping? No. no? She drank milk. Don't give her milk now. Huh? Money. It's money. It's over there. Mani is uh, peanuts in, in Philippine in Filipino. My wife is Filipina. Risa to buy it now, Quinones. Right, huh? I ate one, uh, but I'm gonna eat more. It's it's good. It's, it's a chocolate chip. Uh but how about you? Where's your cookies at? Oh, uh, okay, okay. I, I'll get on a hunt, okay? When I finish. Can you close the door, huh? Can you lock it? No, because Jerome came with Sean. Okay, guys, sorry about that. This is an interruption. Of it reminds me of mounts. But in his uh, study, uh, a dog came in. I don't know if I said that, so I apologize if I bring it up again. But in his situation, uh, his dog came in the uh, in his study uh, area and interrupted the study. You know, while I was looking at basics for biblical Greek because it, it caused an arm and a leg to buy. It's like $80, guys. Basis of biblical Greek. You know what I'm saying? Oh, man, that was a joy. I got that many years ago. I mean, you know. You know what I'm saying? It, it just, it's just the teaching of Greek. It makes it much more easier seeing something like that. Just to teach it. I, I owe my, my Greek life to mounts. You know what I'm saying? Mounts. M-O-U-N-C-E. Um, he has uh, um, Mouse's complete expository dictionary of Old and New Testament words. This is like a copycat title of Vines. And he have Greek. Uh, he has Greek for the rest of us. He has uh, a CD of vocabulary. He has CD uh, a card. I mean, I'm sorry. He has uh, flashcards. Greek. Uh, it, it's like mini business uh, size uh, type uh, uh, cards. Of, uh, of of vocabulary, I left it. I left it at home. I, I left all these things in the house. A Greek for the rest of us. Basis of biblical Greek. I think it has like five editions, and people complain about the fourth one because you know it's like you know the illustrations were like uh, sort of uh, to them like child level or something like that. It's just like, I mean, he's trying to explain things that like, people have to complain. Goodness gracious, you you make a lexicon or something like that, or some Greek tools. Goodness gracious. The kick. I complain about the tower, but you know, the kick, the change is in trouble. Because forget about the tower for now. Do you know, and I, and I said um, that, you know, whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. So they have to believe in the deity of Christ. They have to believe that he's Yahweh. And not only that, they have to believe in their heart, Greek word, cardia, that God raised him from the dead. So if you don't believe, you can't be saved. That's just all this story. I don't care how many times you make proselytes and make them twice a child twice a child of hell in yourself if you go door to door shop to shop i don't care that's not gonna get you saved you're wasting your time you can't bribe god he's not a respecter of persons you can't earn salvation you can't buy it the price is too high the price is nothing but the blood of Jesus. He was delivered for our offenses and raised up for our justification. Verse 25 of chapter 4 of Romans, and we studied that already. It was raised up for our justification. Don't forget it. There is no salvation, okay, apart from the resurrection of Jesus. The resurrection of Jesus is the capstone of Christianity. Remove it and all else crumbles. It is the singular doctrine that elevated Christianity above all the pagan religions of the world. All of them. That's just a deal. End quote, by the way. That's not my quotation. That's not new from me. Si, idete. But we were saying that um, that I was saying that John chapter two verse nineteen has an imperative: destroy this 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 temple, and on and in three days I will raise it up again. It okay, refers back to the temple. It doesn't refer to anything else. Only his birthday suit. You understand? So we saw a ghetto there is in the future tense. You got future tenses. I mean, you got tenses in Greek. The Arabs are the perfect tenses. The imperfect in the present tenses. You understand what I'm saying? Not the, not the mentioned. Because it was mentioned already in the body of the study. The future tense. In the future. 
he was going to do it in the future. So he had a part of his own resurrection, and, uh, and the Holy Spirit had a part, Romans 1, 4, we saw, and then uh, God the Father also, let's not forget God the Father, I'm not trying to forget God the Father, I'm trying to magnify his son, yeah, that's my job, that's my life. Existence is to magnify the son and to glorify the Father. He who does not honor the son does not honor the father, so forget it. You think you were so sexy and sassy, you in the tower, you understand what I'm saying? And let me get to the evangelical church uh, uh, soon because the skirts is not so clean on our side either. But the thing is that you said that Jesus should be worshipped in 1954 and a 1954 child or something like that. And then all of a sudden, your, your, your teachings got darker and darker. Not brighter and brighter, darker and darker. And if that light in you is darkness, how great is that darkness? You understand what I'm saying? So you got, you got rid of it a little bit anyway in the 1960s. I mean, I think that was the hippie in you that got rid of it. You know, so the hippie. I think you were listening to folk songs, uh, you know, folk music too much. Puff the magic dragon and all that, you understand? Not to mention you were listening to, you know, uh, a Pink Floyd, you know, another brick in the wall. That's what you are. Another brick in the wall. Yeah. The other sheep. Anyway, that's just, you can't even take communion. A spiritual segregation going on in the tower. You understand what I'm saying? Well, that's just a deal. So, I mean, I. I, I but let's get back to the let's get back to the let's get back to the church. Do you know that in the 1990s, Norman Geisler said that 10 percent of the evangelical evangelical church, I like Jekyll and Hyde, evangelical church, and it said the body of Christ was supposed to be the body of Christ. It's supposed to probably the tears of the midst of the week. They didn't believe in the bodily resurrection of Jesus. The bodily, you know, Murray J. Harris was one. James Boyce was another who taught that. James Boyce was wonderful. I understand. I love James Boyce. He took the place eventually at Dr. Brown House in 1968. But in his famous John series, he was teaching that, that, that Jesus was raised uh, spiritually. What the, what the hell is that? Spiritually? An evangelical, one of the best, nice, I mean, I'm not going to say one of the best teachers, but one of the most soundest teachers that, 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 that America has ever seen. In the nineteen uh, and what in the nineteen seventies uh, and eighties and 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 nineties anyway, I mean you know not a great teacher but a, but a very sound down to earth teacher, spitting out the same stuff that Murray J Harris was doing. I mean I hate to say that of James Boyce, I mean he was a beautiful man, a very beautiful human being, had a beautiful wife, beautiful daughters and stuff like that, but it was error, it was wrong. The spirit of Jesus, okay, wasn't raised, or he didn't come in 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 in, 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 in just a, a spiritual existence. That's what that's that that's the reason why Luke twenty four thirty nine uh, and verse thirty nine was written and recorded. That he's uh, the spirit does not have flesh and bone like you see me have. You understand what I'm saying? I'm not a spirit. You did the same mistake when I was walking upon the water. You thought it was a spirit. You thought it was a ghost. You're saying it's doing the same thing again. You should know better than that. So the Altan is key to understand that he was referring back, okay, to the temple of his body. Okay, the it is a one-to-one -one correspondence, I said, between the it and the, uh, and the, and the Naan, the temple. Naan, you understand? He could have said body, but he did. Okay, all right. Because the problem is the jewels. Not all are supposed to be saved. I would, uh, uh, Zen and Zion, a uh, chief cornerstone, <laughs> he trembles over, uh, you know, demolishing the powder. Something like that, you understand what I'm saying? Powder. Chosen and precious. But there's some uh, a stone of stumbling, you understand what I'm saying? A stumbling block. This is the deal. Notice, this is not a sleazy, cheesy, easy religion, you understand what I'm saying? It's not. It's hard. It's hard. Not given unto them. The parables of the kingdom is given unto you, but not to them. 
Matthew 13. Is that what I'm saying? Not giving to everybody these 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 teachings and revelations. It's such a deal. So we saw that. We saw that 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 that, that it was going to be raised by Jesus Himself. Not so much of the Father, the Holy Spirit, but He was going to raise it up again. Well, you, I me, mean, Emmanuel, I raised it. It took 46 years of building a temple. What are you talking about? A temple? I, you, will you build it up in three days? Three? You? I me, mean, a man of mortal. You? I wasn't talking about that, but I don't want to let you know. <laughs> I wasn't talking about the temple in Jerusalem. I wasn't talking about that. I was talking about the temple of my own body. Yeah, punk. The genitive of opposition. You, you, you understand what I'm saying? That's what I'm talking about. Doesn't even say that Jesus revealed that to them. John revealed it to S. You understand what I'm saying? The S. It goes to S again. We have the mind of Christ. You understand what I'm saying? By the grace of God. We are who we are. And we are privileged people. You understand? Don't forget it. We have to teach these things. Jesus was born with a birthday suit. He took hold of the seed of David. You understand what I'm saying? Verse 3 of chapter 1 of Romans. He was the, uh, he was the, uh, the uh, root and the offspring of, of David. At the same time, he was the creator of David. And he was the, 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 the offspring. Is that what I'm saying? Again, I think that's the, the Greek word there in verse 16 of chapter 22 of Revelation. You understand what I'm saying? That's just a deal. And taking the form of a slave, uh, Labon is the participial construction there in the present tense. Labon, the Omega Nu, is actually okay, a uh, construction, one of the participial morphemes, if you want to put it uh, like that, just to remember it. You understand what I'm saying? The tau was shaved off, and the case ending was shaved off, and the Omicron left into an Omega, and they have own, and that's it. That's the only stuff that's left on your plate. Eat it. You guys at the tower are like the little rascals that they didn't want their medicine. Ah, oh, man. Hash again. Hash. We have to eat hash. Yeah, you have to eat hash. Before you can come to the table. You have to eat hash. You have to eat it. You have to admit that you're a dog. Yeah, but even the little dogs eat under the master's table. So, so you, you still have to be your little dog. I mean, so what? It's the same thing. Woman, great is your faith at the tower. Is that what I'm saying? Oh, man, great is your faith. You have to call yourself a dog. You have to admit that you're nothing but a dog. That you're not sitting by center and a worm. Worm Jacob, you understand what I'm saying? If he was a worm, how about you? <clears throat> Who's made under uh, a little lower than Jacob? You understand what I'm saying? Because you're in the tower. That's just a deal. And then we went to uh, then we went to Luke's gospel, uh, chapter 24, the cool duck, uh, verse 39, the cool duck, uh, the key. And then we see the imperatives. Eat it there. And we see all these imperative moods commanding the disciples to, to, to come and touch him and to see him. And they were hearing him using three of the five senses. You understand? And all that to figure out that it was him. It wasn't somebody else. That's fraudery. You're charging God. I said in the body of the study. If you say that God destroyed the body, well, he tampered with state's evidence. You can't do that. That's a crime. That's fraudery. You're charging God with fraud. That's what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You're saying that God destroyed the greatest piece of evidence that this world have ever had in the court of God. And then you're saying that he replaced the body for what? He already had the body of Jesus right there. Okay. All right. Cloaking the Messiah. Why you need another one? For what reason? For what? Oh, no, but he had to show him, says the tower, that he was alive. So he manufactured the body. But, but, but why did he have to do that? If he had the body already in the tomb. 
Why did he have that? Why did? Well, why couldn't he use it? Give me, give it to me. Give me the scripture that says that it's held in a memorial. No, but we don't have that. We have it in our magazines. Yeah, but so what, man? You're probably selling, selling Colgate in those magazines too. You understand what I'm saying on the back page? I'm just saying. Cigars, you sold those. Philip and Morrow's Tobacco Company. Yeah, fra- you're the frauds. And then you say you, you know, you're not involved in the army, and then you're mi- making mil- military parts for the army, and then you're not you're not involved in politics, and then you're part of the UN department. Can't make it up. That's just a deal all across the board. But my time is up. It's a great bee. <laughs> so I got to get my daughter back. She's a special child and I love her. Oh, yes, I do. I, 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 I got her out so I can do that. I'll never do it. It hurts me to the quick. I can never do the study. Not a two-hour study. I don't know how long it's going to be. But I could do it with her here. I'll tell you that right now. She'd be crying of a storm. It's like there's a storm all over again, guys. You understand what I'm saying? But I had to present him and him to make the sacrifice. I had to make it for you. Because nobody is doing it for you at the tower. You're the other sheep. You don't count. You've been lied to. You've been had. Some people got it. You understand what I'm saying? In 1975, they weren't going to get married, and they left their their, their future spouse for for the for the teacher's dirty looks at the tower, and they got nothing in return. And then they ran off the credit cards, and they got nothing back. You see to it. That's how the world handles it. You understand what I'm saying? What is that to us? There you go. Oh, but I was gonna. I, I I lost my farm. Yeah, but but yeah, punk. Why did you listen to the tower? You know that Jesus wasn't coming back. It's not for you to know the time and the seasons. Not for you to know the time. So why did you listen to the tower? Oh, but I was gonna get married and I lost my I lost my you know my fiance. Well, why did you listen? Oh, I lost my farm, my job. Why did you listen? Oh, I was gonna go to college. I was in college and I left that girl for the tower. Well, why did you listen? And not only that, why did you listen in 1988? Just, just, just 13 years after. I mean, good God. Why did you listen? What are you saying? Why did you listen? But uh, you don't understand. That's this old man. Da, 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 da. Oh, well, this is a profit of man if he gained the whole well, yet lose his soul. And not lose an annihilation, just lose it, though. You can't do the same thing in hell that you're doing now. You can't just turn on your car and go wherever the hell you want to go. That doesn't exist in hell. That's not the deal. You can't do it. Two L's, by the way, in hell. You understand what I'm saying? May you and your money perish. What does that mean? When you, you, may you and your money go to hell. That's what he was saying. It's watered down in the English. That's just a deal. That's just a deal all across the board. Is Angelo Quinone is giving glory. I wish I can keep on going. How shall you escape if you neglect so great salvation? Like I said before, now is the accepted time. Now is the day of salvation. The lake of fire is waiting for every stinking witness and everybody who ever taught in any other cult or sect or false religion that Jesus is not the Son of God, that he's co-equal, uh, that doesn't agree that he's co-equal and co-eternal with the, with the Lord God Almighty, that he's not the Almighty himself. That's just a deal. Pantocrator it describes Jesus the Almighty there. You understand what I'm saying? Jehovah, Je- St. Jehovah in Zechariah chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, verses 12 and 13, according to the Hebrew. The Tetragrammaton is found twice in those texts. Jehovah, St. Jehovah. Zechariah chapter 2. And Zechariah chapter 1, verse 1, says that the book is from the prophet. So you have to listen to him. You have to listen to the prophet of God. You have to believe in your heart, the Greek word cardia, that God has raised up Jesus from the dead. If you don't call upon his name, 
You're going to the lake. You're going to shield, first of all, and after that, to add insult to injury, like the, out of the frying pan and into the fire, you're going to be thrown into the lake of fire where you're going to be burning for trillions and trillions of years. The fire is not put out. It's not quenched, says uh, John the Baptist in, in Matthew chapter 3. Unquenchable fire. Now, if it was annihilation, it'll be unquenchable. It'll be quenchable, I should say. That's such a deal. You can only lie so far. But these dear people, they get out and they don't know where to go. So they become atheists and stuff like that, or whatever the case may be, from the tower of a Mormon church and commit suicide. They can't take the commandments anymore of the tower, they can't take the code. They can't take the prescriptions. They can't do it. They don't know where to go to a healthy, well-balanced church that teaches these things. Again, the resurrection of Jesus is the capstone of Christianity. Remove it and all else crumbles. It is the singular doctrine that elevated Christianity above all the pagan religions of the world. There are six essentials to the historic Christian faith. Mark them down. They were hammered out by B.B. Warfield and company at the turn of the 20th century. You want to hear them? There's six of them. Number one. The inspiration of the scriptures. Number two. The deity of Christ. Number three. The virgin birth of Jesus. Number four. The substitutionary atonement work upon the cross. Number five. The bodily resurrection of Jesus. Number six, the seventh coming, the second coming of Christ. Those are the essentials. And in the essentials, we must have unity. In non essentials, liberty. And in all things, charity. Do you have love at the tower? The Setnar says there weren't any love. Loving people at the tower, there was no love from the governing body. You would have thought that love would be central in the tower, but it wasn't even to be found. Oh, <laughs> you see it. <laughs> you take care of that. Go ahead. That's the way the world treats us all. May you teach these things to your family and friends before it is too late. Amen. <laughs>